Welcome aboard. I want to take you through a little tour of the Wilkins Battalion American Club. This club was founded in 1933 by several immigrants that came from Campobasso, Italy, and needed a place to socialize, get together with their families, and they purchased this property and built a little clubhouse back here, and let me show you what it looks like inside. Getting the word out, spreading the word about not only the game of bocce, but the great event that we put on down here is just really fulfilling. It's a weekend where people just embrace and, and see each other again, you know, and uh, we love it. It's the coolest thing on earth, it really is. I mean, it's like one of the biggest things in Cleveland all summer long. The game of the Italians, right? The just a great event for the city of Wycliffe. We have many great festivals in the city, and this kind of is like the conclusion of our summer events here in the city. Uh, I consider myself one of the better bocce players in the United States. I can't call myself the best, uh, but uh, I might be in the top, you know, 100. Nice. I feel good. You don't want the ball, ball to roll though. Sometimes. Well, yeah, when you're cheating. Dude, how many Italians does it take to put a screw in? I got loose list? Yeah, you knucklehead. When are they supposed to come down here and do the courts? They look like hell. Jesus. Every morning at 6.30 in the morning. We're down here, we're doing the courts. We take quite a big pride in uh, the bocce courts, and I think we have the finest in the area. When you see people come down here for the first time, and you see the look on their faces, it's just, it's, it's you know, it's priceless. I do it because I actually love doing it. I, I look forward to it. All of us look forward to that tournament the weekend before Labor Day every year. This is what we call paradise back here. They're warming up for uh, the final game of uh, this year's 36th. Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce here at the Wycliffe INA in Wycliffe, Ohio. We're all set for the finals. And it's uh, myself, Bob Galise, with... Uh, Luciano DeSensi. Hello, Luch. How you doing? Doing well. All right. This is year number two for our live broadcast. And uh, we have ABV, Contractors, and Utica's Finest Barbershop in the finals. And this should be a great game. All right, and I just want to mention some of our sponsors here before we uh, get into this game and get focused <laughs> yeah. on, on the bocce. Uh, but Pat O'Brien Chevrolet, of course. Uh, and Pat's been uh, sponsoring this for God, many, many, many years. Uh, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, Minuteman Staffing, and uh, 1-800-OHIO-COMP, Liberty Home Mortgage, Remarkable Lake County, Sweetberries, MCR, Coca-Cola, Peroni, Aleshi's of Shoregate, Marks, Friedman Automotive Services, NEO Sports Plant, Orlando Donsanti Previt Funeral Home, Surfside, and Surfside Automotive. Thank you to all the sponsors and a great job that they do helping this tournament uh, uh, stay alive in uh, Little Wycliffe, Ohio here, and uh, it's always a, a great time. Weather's beautiful. Big crowd watching the finals, Luch, and uh, everything kind of came together. Oh, yeah, that was an exciting last game by ABV. Broach had a tremendous shot. He could have hit that ball only one way to make that happen, and that's exactly what he did. But now everything's on the line here, Bob. This is it. Game two. Final game. Utica's finest barbershop with Ryan Riley, Tony Melorano Jr., Mike Augusto, and Brandon Bertrand. And then uh, ABV contractors is uh, Mike Ferbata, Dennis Sternad, Anthony Croach, and Dom Aveni. And uh, they're just going to take their warm-up rolls, and we're going to get this thing rocking. And once again, we'd like to thank uh, all of our sponsors, but uh, Pat O'Brien Chevrolet for the years that he's... Uh, Given us here at the Wycliffe INA, and uh, I guess the uh, the investment he's put into the Wycliffe yes, INA. Yes, very appreciate it. And the, uh, the building has been improved over the years. Now with nine courts under roof, pavilion under roof, and um, you know, I'll tell you what, it's uh, it's beautiful grounds. People love coming here. I travel to uh, Rome, New York, as you have, Luch. Yes. 
and um, I've been in PA and Youngstown and many different tournaments. And I'll tell you what, this is this is one of the finest uh, grounds to play bocce on around. Uh, Rome, New York is very nice, and uh, Wycliffe is uh, definitely right up there with them. So great weekend of music. We had Pieces of Eight here on Friday night. Rock the house Saturday night. Rock the house Saturday night. And Friday night was jammed with people. It was really, really busy. And uh, Saturday night was the same way all day long. It was crowded. I'm sure the food vendors are happy. I know oh, Bobby LaMonica excellent food all the, weekend. Uh, the, the, the cheese steak. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Jungle Terry was here today, if I remember correctly, right? For yes. The kids. Yep. And uh, the, the magician was, uh, what's, what's the magician's name? Rick Smith Jr., the magician, was here today, wowing the crowd with his magic. I remember walking by the pavilion, and uh, he was having people pulling, talking about numbers and addresses, and came up with some number. I mean, I have no idea how they do that. I can barely add two and two, Luke. <laughs> yeah, so thank you to uh, Jungle Terry. And uh, to Rick Smith Jr. for coming by and showing off their talents. All right, they're shaking hands, getting ready to go. All right, and uh, this game is brought to you by Peroni. Uh, exemplifies the traditions of Italian craftsmanship, passion, and flair upon which it was formed. The original Italian lager. Pick up a case today, Peroni. And all right. Let's get started. Everything's on the line here. ABV looking for their third championship. Utica Barbershop looking for their first championship. Everything on the line right now. And here we go. You know, Luch, has, has Utica finest barbershop, have they been here before? They, yes, they have been here before. I talked to the guys before. But not this exact team, though. I believe it's, well, without, I don't think Tony Melorano was on it, of okay. course. But, uh, but the, the core guys, the three of them, I think they were on the previous team also. Okay. They were telling me that their best finish before this was sixth place. Here. Yes. Okay. All right. So they've kind of been here before. They've been in some high pressure games. All right. Here comes um, Ryan Riley. The first ball. First ball for Utica, that is. And he comes up a little short. ABV still holding point. Well, just, I don't know. It looks like two and a half, three feet. Yeah, both short balls. We'll see what Tony could do here. And Tony Malrano looking for his second championship, his first one back in 2016 with Adelio's. And uh, I, I remember Adelio's uh, doing well in Rome a couple years ago also. With That's Sergio, point there. Sergio DeFranco and his cousin Richie DeFranco. And I don't remember the fourth player, but Pete Melorano Jr. was also on that team. I think it was uh, Mike Iannetta was also on that team. Yeah, they did real well out there also. So yeah, Tony Melorano Jr. has been here before. Yeah. Oh. Right. Dennis misses. It's a rare miss for Dennis Sternad. Just split him. One of the better hitters in the area. And Anthony Croach is going to try and pick him up. All right. He got it. So ABV's holding point. Unfortunately, there's a lot of room to roll in on. Probably going to have to be another hit yet. And maybe not. That's a great shot. <laughs> Decent point there. Here comes Mikey Fravada. Oof. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if that came in or not. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Frank Amatees. Frank, what does it look like down there? Balls are real close right now. They're looking it over. Looks like we might be getting a measurement. All right. So Frank Amatees, our courtside reporter this year, signed to a short-term contract. like they've made the call it's ABV's oh I'll take that back see that again Frank it's uh all the balls are out so we got one ball left they're not still not quite sure who's got it 
Okay. So one ball left in the back here, which is uh, Brandon Bertrand from Utica, Utica's finest barber shop. Just trying to figure out where they want this ball. I would think that uh, you know you just got to roll in and. It's definitely when the no, strategy look. comes into play, right? You're trying to figure out what you want to put no. the ball exactly. It looks like looks they, like they like said it was ABVs, and they're going to hit. Yeah, and the, and the biggest concern is that uh, you don't want to roll into one of those balls. Oh, he's coming on with the hit. He got it. Woo! Mm. Tony Melarani just slapped off his hand. <laughs> All right, they're looking to see who's got. Uh, there's one for sure. Uh huh. Maybe they're looking at the one. Let me take a measure. Here it is. Tapes out. This measurement is sponsored by Aleshi's of Shoregate. If you're looking for Italian food and specialty items, you want to check out Aleshi's of Shoregate for those things you just can't find anywhere else. Aleshi's. Also brought to you by Freeman Automotive and Mark Superstores. All right, here we go with inning number two. The score is, uh, well, who had that point? It was 1-0 Utica. Utica did there, Bob. Okay, so Utica scored this. So Utica's up one nothing right now. <laughs> Great first point. I don't know. I hear sounds in my ear. It sounds like Liddy talking. All right, Dennis hits and oh, it's gonna come off that wall. Holds Here point. it comes. There it is. There's the roll. Great first shot by Dennis. Well, he came back after that first miss. To hit this one, Tony Melarano looking for a point ball here. Here he comes. All right, not a bad ball, not a bad ball. Pretty decent there. Two and a half feet possibly. I think Tony's disappointed. He wanted to be a little bit closer, but uh, not a bad ball, though. Huh? I guess they feel they need to hit this, and that's what uh, Anthony Croach is going to do. Ready, aim, fire. All right, Anth got it. Good shot. But Utica's going to hold point. That green ball didn't quite clear far enough. So you got uh, two of ABV's balls way off to the right. Here comes their third shot by Dom. Here's Dom of Benny, as Luciano pointed out. And it came up a little short. Not a horrible ball. Groach telling Dom, hey, why don't you get that ball closer? <laughs> and Dom said, I tried. Leave me alone. Don't bother me. Looks like Utica's about to hit this one out. Brandon Bertrand for the hit. I think Brandon is. I don't. I don't know that he's missed any. Is he? Is it? Or is it just the one that game the, the the first game? Yeah, I think he, the, there was a, a time he went off the back wall. He yeah. didn't hit his target. Yeah, okay. He Good shot. He got that one. Just clipped it on the left side. Oh boy, this is getting dangerous now. Utica's got two balls. And currently two points right now. Currently two points right now. And uh, ABV still has one ball to roll. Here's Mike Fabata with that roll. Oh, nice ball Stay by Mike off Fibata. the wall. All nice right. ball. Great ball, Mike. Yeah, Utica's got to hit again. Comes the Mike and Mike action. Mike points. Mike hits. You got it. Oh, oh. But the red stays in play. Oh, wait a minute. It came back. Good attempt. Yeah, that red ball came back off the back wall. One point for ABV. One to one. All right. One, one to one as uh, 
Frank Gambatis has told us that ball came back and got point for ABV after being hit, hit the back wall and rolled back in. Score is now one to one. Down to his first point. Oh boy. Well short. Ouch. That hurts a little bit. Here comes Riley. Oh, oh long to the left. Frank, what do you is that wow. even point? No, Dom's ball is still in. He's a good five and a half feet out. And the uh, Utico ball went about seven. Oh, no, no. He did not take that point away. Wow. wow. So Dom left it real short. We'll see if, if Tony can here pick him up. Tony Melloran here to try and pick him up. Yeah, okay, Tony picked him up. 18 nice. inches, it appears. Yeah, Dennis is going to hit. Good call. I mean, 18 inches is kind of one of those teasers a little bit, but ABV knows how to play. Get it out. There it is. Right, oh, him, touched he, on the both balls. Hit them both. Got the ricochet ball also. So it looks like ABB is holding two points right now. Yeah, that is true. Right now they do have two. All right. Frank's confirming that ABB is holding two. But Look at that point. Utica rolls in a beautiful point ball that uh, is going to have to be hit. Here comes Anthony Croach with the hit. Clean hit here, clean hit, and hit and stick. No, it didn't happen. <sighs> didn't quite get it out. He, he didn't it. get all of it. He skinned it. All right, Anthony uh, is looking for Mike Ferbato to pick him up a little bit. It's going to be their fourth shot right here to see if he can get on the Pauline. ABB is now out of balls. Oh, uh -oh. oh boy. Mike came in uh, very short. Yeah, he Obviously left that a bit short, and it's Utica's point still. Really good pointer. You wish you could see that one back there, Bob. Yeah, it's going to happen to the best of us, Luch. You know, you're going to get those couple of balls that, that you want back. Just don't do what you want them to do. Let's see Brandon to capitalize, and there it is. Good point by him. All right. Yeah. Two-point round for Utica makes it 3-1, to one, Utica. 3-1, All right. to one, Utica. 3-1, to one, Utica. All right, well, this is uh, kind of the game we thought we were going to have. I, I know ABB is not going to lay down and die, that's for sure. Oh, looks like the plane was uh, too close to the wall there. We'll do a rethrow. We'll see how this next frame goes. Looks like he's deep in the left corner. Did that ball come off enough? Yes, it yep, did. That one's in play. Here comes this point. Oh. Can't see the Pauline. Looks really short, Ooh. though. I don't know. It's Pauline's oh, yeah, in between Pauline red and green line there. Tough first point there, Bob. We'll see if Tom can capitalize on the miss. And he did. That's it. There's Great a man, point. good ball. Yeah, you got to take advantage of those mistakes. Still room. And Tony will try to point this one in. See if he can steal the point. Just great. Uh, touches the wall right there. Just uh -huh. skates past the Pauline. Uh, Utica missed the map. Uh, I thought he was going to grab that Pauline. Luch. I thought so too, Bob. I'm surprised they didn't hit that. I mean, that's a good ball sitting there. I and mean, Tony feels confident he can get that. No, yeah, true. He has been pointing well all the tournament. You're right, he has. We'll see if Mike can pick him up. No, uh, he came up short. Not enough. No. Nope. Well, here's a chance for ABB to take advantage. There's a lot of room there. One more ball to roll for Utica. You know, typically, uh, typically Brandon is uh, is their hitter. He hasn't rolled many balls. He's rolling a good one there. Off that green in for the point. You know, Great, man, big ball. Roll. Big ball. 
So that's all four balls right there from Utica's finest barbershop. And we're right. right here at three to one. We'll see if ABB can take, capitalize on this with three balls. Well, they definitely got to hit that. I think the fear is, though, that ricochet. Uh, ABB is going to discuss this for a minute. All right, this message brought to you by Orlando Orlando Donsante Private Funeral Home. At Orlando Donsante Private Funeral Home, they take great pride in caring for our families. We work tirelessly to provide you with a beautiful, lasting tribute to your loved one. Orlando Donsante Private Funeral Home. Thank you for your sponsorship, Anthony. All right. Yeah, Dennis just missed that last shot there. Ah. All right. Well. Yeah, Looks like they're looking to take a shot at Pauline here. Ah, they're going to try and go for Pauline, maybe. Not a bad call. Assuming that Pauline doesn't take some kind of crazy bounce. Missed oh. It. Wow. Right down the middle of them. Well, just when you thought that it was opening up for ABB to get 2-3, they may end up with one, if, if that. They might take another chance at it. Yep, they're going for it one more time. Well, it's only, it's only be one. He's going for it again. He got it. That's Gray Pauline just gave shot him four. by Mikey for a bottom. That shot for Mike just gave him four for Red. It is now 5-3 ABB. Four points. Wow. Very nice. Mike for bottom. The pointer that is for huge. ABB. One of the pointers comes through with a big hit. With ABB taking the lead now 5-3. to three. That is a big swing right there. Big swing. That's a big hit by their pointer. Yeah. It's huge. That's uh, it's not it's not easy to do when you when you're hitting you know a couple times a game. Right. It's a lot to ask All right. for. Nah, and there goes Dom. Here it comes the momentum go. right Here now. Dom go. on the Pauline. The engine has started. Rev your engines, gentlemen. Here comes ABB. That was a great shot, Mike Fabata. Maybe they should make Croach point and let Frabata hit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get a little word in my ear from Croach on that one. We well, got out of there. All right. Yudika's holding point right now. After hitting. Got a good ricochet on that ball. And Mike is going to come up here and do what he does best, and that is point. Obviously, he can hit too, as we saw just a moment ago. Oh, a little discussion right here. Maybe off the back wall? Yeah. I don't, how far away is that, Pauline? I don't know how far it is up. Frank, any word? It's right at the green line, maybe three, whatever that is, four or five feet. Okay, so it's possible, I guess, the way the balls are popping off the walls. I think he's just going to point this one in. So Frank's saying the Pauline's about three, four feet off the back wall, right at the the long green line. Well, that's the only green line, actually. Oof. Sidewall. I that don't know like, if he got it there. Yeah, it looks like he came up maybe a little short, possibly. Frank, what do you think? Yeah, it looks like he came up short. It looks like it may still be Utica's ball or Utica's point. I think they're talking about hitting that back wall and let it pop out. Yep, confirmed. So Utica, goes, you Utica holds point. Now, so, you know, where is the, where is Utica going to throw their ball? Are they going to come off the back wall? Are they going to go side wall and back wall? Just got to think about what the other team is going to do here and get your ball in the way. You got Dennis going back and forth, checking the views out. Well, what angle he likes. Oh, he's going to let Croach go. Croach is going to hit. There it is, off the back. Off that wall. There it is. There's the shot. Good shot by Croach. Yeah. 
Good call by the team to you know, change your mind about what they were getting ready to do. Looks like they pulled Dennis out of that, uh, out of the hitting and put Croach in to go off that back wall, Frank, huh? Yeah, they certainly did there. It was a great shot by Croach, though, made it. Got himself within uh, 12, 15 inches. It looks like Utica right, so Mike is just going to try to shoot this thing out. So Croach's ball came back to within 12 to 15 inches of the Pauline. And uh, Mike Augusto is going to try and do the same thing, but ends ah. up behind ABV. Pushes AB, ABV a little bit closer, even. All right, so Utica is going to have to think about this one a little bit. Yeah, I got to figure out what we want to do on their third shot. Yeah, what I'd like to know, uh, Luch, is who's, who's got third point right now? Is that Utica still have third point, Frank? Yep, Utica's holding third. Okay, so Utica is holding third point. They have point. a ball on the left side of the court. So you go after this and hit it. I think you'd almost have to. But I understand why they wouldn't, because then it just kind of opens it up for ABB again to get another couple points. But I agree, a hit looks good here. Up two to one on the balls on the back here. Take a shot. Yeah, looks like Tony Melorano Jr. is lining up for a, uh, a hit. And again, Tony uh, Jr. used to be a, a really good hitter until he hurt his back, but he's uh, hitting a couple nice ones today. Here it is. He got it. Ah! Oh. Oh. Woo! ABB wow. ball came right back to the Pauline like a magnet. That is uh, heartbreaking right Actually, there. Actually, that ball's sitting better than the original ball. Right. Even though he hit it. Wow. Bad break. Definitely Bad tough break. to watch. See, now I would probably come off the back wall again. Keep a ball in the area. Right? And make it tough on Dennis right this is Utica's last ball so we got to figure out where to exactly to put it he's gonna do Let's see what he does there it now is. he's going for the roll side wall back wall oh no he's just going for point <clears throat> almost clipped that ball on the right side uh, it's coming back too now that's a good say it's a it's a good defense ball there But you definitely prefer that ball to be in front, right, Bob? Yeah, you, you, you'd want her in front ideally, but now he's behind and he can't be hit as easily either. Right. So you have to roll in on this. Why would you risk giving up a point here? You have the momentum. Correct. You want to give it back. Just off the four banger before. Could capture two here. Mike and Dennis are talking about a little strategy. Looks like Dennis is going to roll in. Yeah, he likes pointing here. Yeah. I like pointing to it. It's a good call. Here it is. Ooh, does it have the speed? No, it's short. Ah. Uh, nope. All right. That's one, just one. One for ABV. So six to three, I, I think. That's correct. They're on a 5-0 run currently. So all momentum's on ABV side right now. It is, and here comes Dom. Let's see if he can do a little bit better than the last time down. And uh, okay, well he didn't want to make it short again. And that's right. usually the danger. If you throw a little bit harder, and, uh, Utica's definitely gonna have to find a way to capture the uh, momentum back to their side. Here comes the point. And, oh, I don't think he got it there, Bob. Just a little past that red. Yeah, it looks like that ball rolled just outside of the ABV ball. We'll see if Tony can uh, pick him up here. All right, here comes Tony Jr. Uh, ball didn't come down like you thought it was. I, I thought that ball was going to fall a little bit. Is that, that point, Frank? In, yeah, that ball came in for point. Okay, that is point. So Tony got point. Looks like they're thinking, okay, there's a lot of room here. I mean, roll in. Yeah, I think they just have Mikey point on it. I think rolling in is a smart shot. 
Oh, looks like Dom called for a measure. Oh, okay, they're calling for a measurement. Here's Oliver Marcon. Doing a great job on the hold. All right, this message brought to you by one of our sponsors, uh, NEO Sports Plant. Thanks to NEO Sports Plant for, for providing the bleachers that our spectators are sitting on today. And I played at NEO. They got a great place over there, 75,000 square foot multi sport facility. And by our sponsor, uh, East Lake Surfside Sunoco. Thank you both for your uh, sponsorships. Here comes a shot by Dennis. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, he got both of them. He got his ball and uh, one of the Utica balls. Right, not exactly what Dennis was looking for, uh, but it happens. And here comes Mike Fabata trying to roll in and save the day. Decent point there. Maybe about right. 18 inches off the Pauline. All right, here comes Brandon's going to hit that. Try to hit the ball out at least. Yeah, for their third shot here. For Utica's finest barber shop. Brandon's been hitting pretty well today. Got nice one. shot. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see where that ball goes. Okay. You never know what score to <laughs> All right. Great shot by Brandon there. He's been playing well all game. He has. Yeah, he's had some nice hits. I think the, you know, the, the if you will, the, the breaks and the weird bounces have kind of gone, they're kind of even between both teams. Correct. Uh, uh, looks like he's in. That looks like point there. Especially playing uh, the same court twice. Both teams yep, looks teams like now in. know yeah. where to place their ball, where it can come off the back wall, where it rolls. Yeah, they're getting dialed in. All right, he missed that shot. Ah, so ABV got Mike. one, yeah. Yeah, one point right, ABV, so, uh, seven to three. Updated score, seven to three. ABV over Utica's finest barbershop. And again, this is the final match of this year's Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce here at the Wycliffe INA Club uh, in Wycliffe, Ohio. Little Wycliffe, Ohio. ABB currently on a 601 right now. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Why did I see another number? Oh. oh, it looks like Tony is pointing first now. He's stepped up. Look at that ball off the yeah. wall, off the right side wall, right in there. There's the reason why. And I've seen Tony pointing first most of this weekend, and I'm surprised. Was it Ryan that was pointing? Yeah, he first? was pointing was uh, he? before, yes, in the last game. I mean, Tony's been hot all weekend long. Every time I look over and watch one of their games, he's been on that Pauline. Mike Augusto is not looking uh, real happy with what's going on right now. Here comes Dennis for a hit. He got it. Good hit, Dennis. Well, Utica's got to figure out how to stop the bleeding. To the 6-0 run right now. Yeah. Need the Pauline back. All right. Ryan Riley trying to uh, get his team that back. That same spot where Tony went before. All right. There's a good, there's a good point. A little long, but great ball. Yep. Good point. All right. So Ryan Riley uh, rolls in for Utica. Mike Fabata is going to uh, roll in to try and beat it. It looks like Dom and uh, it's Dom and uh, Mike left. Dom Aveni and Mike Fabata left. So really, they're not true hitters. Although I know they can hit. Ooh. Oh, there you Got go. Got it. Beautiful shot by Mike, beating Utica's point by about eight inches or so. Actually, probably by about ten inches. Yeah, and he left it right in front, so it's in a really great spot there, that great shot. Now they got to figure out what to do here. I mean, I would think, Luke, you just got to roll in here. Uh, what's the other choice? Two shooters in the back. We'll see what they pick. Ah, oh, he might shoot this. Uh, oh, he's going to point it in. Yeah, definitely a point stance from Mike Augusto. Augusto. Oh, it could. 
Corta, uh, corta, corta. Not enough. No. Great line, though. Those nice new shiny Wickify and A Paulinos. Got uh, some new sets of balls this year, huh, Larry? How many new sets do we have this year? Three new sets? Three new sets. All right, here comes Brandon. Uh oh. Off Brandon the wall, comes in again. In. Great ball. Is wow. it a little more? This kid's an all around player. Wow. That is an awesome, awesome point there. Yeah, great work by the cameraman showing that view. Pauline down. One, one ABB. One ABB. Making the score eight to three now, ABV on a 7 0 run. All right, well, that worked out well. Yes, it did. Approach hit that Pauline. It happened to ricochet the right way, go right back to their ball, or at least close to their ball. Not an easy ball to hit at all. You know, the, the Paulinos that uh, we use here at, uh, in, at Wycliffe INA are a little bit bigger than the ones that we shoot at Mayfield. So it's kind of a pleasure. These things look like beach balls compared <laughs> to <the ones> in <laughs> Mayfield. <laughs> Seen a lot of Polino hits this weekend, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Frank, Frank, so how do you think uh, Utica is feeling right now? They, they kind of looking like they're still uh, are they still in this? Are they down about it? What, what, what are they looking like? Yeah, you can definitely see their expressions. Uh, they're definitely feeling a little down, but make a few good shots and they can get right back in. There's a long way to go. Long way to go is right, that's for sure. It's a long way to go for, uh, for both these teams. We're only halfway there. In this final match with ABV up eight to three. Oh, great hit by Dennis. Uh, but it did not hold point. So Utica still holding point. No, it's or not. Or ABV. Todd's I'm Dominic's sorry. ball. Yeah, the I, left I side. I forgot about Dom's ball. Mm -hmm. My bad. Ooh, ooh, that's short. It's a short there. Ryan Riley comes up a little short. As he swishes around his uh, chewing tobacco. That's long. <sighs> Mike Augusto's uh, attempt at point, take away that point from ABV, runs long. And they're looking a little down right now. ABV is up eight to three in this final match. To, I'm sorry. You want to do this? <laughs> I was waiting for that. But you're right. The game is to 16. It's eight to three. ABV. This final match, the 36th annual. Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce here at the Wycliffe INA Club in Wycliffe, Ohio. Good ball by Mikey. Got it. Mike Fabana pointed again. There's two right there. They still have a ball back yet, right? Uh, yep, here comes Croce. Here comes Croce. What do you do? He must have touched Not enough. the green ball. Yeah, he bumped yep. into the front green there. Like two, two for ABV. ABV. Nine to three. Sending that run out. Now it's a 9 0 run. Oh, 10 to 3. Right. Sorry. They had 10 one coming. 3 ABV over Utica's finest barbershop. Game's up to 16. See the sun setting in the background. It's getting a little darker back there. The 74 degrees. That's right. It's a beautiful night. Great ball by Dominic. Beautiful night for Bocce, everybody. There's a Rosario standing there holding the fence up right there in the corner. Rosario comes from Florida, I believe, to uh, visit this or uh, play in this tournament. Got teams from all over the place. Massachusetts, Baltimore, 
Florida, New York, PA. Great Colorado. shot. Oh, that's uh, Rosario. Oh, that red ball just rolled back in. Oh, boy. Another break. I mean, not a break, but it was a, everything kind of came right back. Seen that happen a few times this game, Luch. Yeah, it seems like things are falling ABV's way. Yeah. Great hit by Mike, but Ugh, here it comes he, right back in. He hit it, came right back again. Wow. That's tough, yeah, especially when you hit your target. It wow. doesn't work out. Yeah, 2-1 lucky bounces yeah, in a that, row there deflating. for Uticas. Yeah, it's really deflating. When you're making the hit, and uh, they just keep... <laughs> the, 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 you know, ABB just keeps getting a point better and better every time they hit it. A uh, little discussion about this final ball from Utica. I, I like going off the back wall here. Yeah, I mean, you just got to... Back and forth. Yeah, you just got to roll in and just hope the ball... Just you, you get the break and it somehow curls into the pulling. I saw that happen many times this weekend. Balls falling off the back wall and curling around the point ball and taking point. Here's a hit for Tony. No, not this time. The left side. He wanted to want to get on the right side of that. Yeah. Yeah, he just mishit it. Yeah, you got to put something to play now. I know Too that, far out. Yeah, it definitely was not his target. Yeah, so now Ryan Riley has got to stay on the right side of this. All right, side wall. Back wall and roll back. Here it comes. Come on down. Oh. Did he get it? Uh, Frank, is that the point? No, it looks like it's just short. It's going to be ABV point, Just short of it? It is in a good spot and a good ball. Jeez. Well, here's an opportunity for ABV to extend that lead now with three balls in the back and currently holding the point. The score of 10-3. to three, They can uh, I'm possibly assuming, get four and get that out, maybe stick around I'm a little bit. I'm assuming they're going to hit. They're yeah. Gonna, they have to take one shot at this. All right, he missed so now you just got to roll on that back wall again. Well, the problem is, though, you may you may drag that green ball in for point. Yeah. You got to be careful here. I smell the stump. <laughs> Pepe Le Pew. Here goes Trey. Here goes Croce. And oh. falls right in. <laughs> what Great a shot. shot. Wow. Snuck just to the side of the Utica's ball and came down, grabbed the Pauline, and pushed it even closer to the other ABV ball that was back there already. We'll Here see if Mikey Mike uh, with the same thing. We'll see if we can capitalize for three. Oh, uh -oh. we nudged it. Oh, that was the fear. All right, still two. Two at least. Yeah, yeah. two, two That's points. All right, his points makes it so what 12 we got? We to 3-3 ABV over Utica's finest barbershop. An 11-0 run right now. 11-0 run. Wow. Utica's got to find a way to get that Paulina back. All right, this uh, message brought to you by uh, our sponsor, Minuteman Staffing, 1-800-OHIO-COP. Minuteman Staffing has been helping companies large and small meet their production challenges for 50 years. Minuteman Staffing, 1-800-OHIO-COP. Ooh. Great hit by Brandon there. So, but ABV still holds a point currently. Here goes Tony with the second shot. Come up that sidewall. There's a great ball right there by Tony Malarano Jr. Beautiful. Yeah, he's uh, Tony's still dialed in, that's for sure. He's got to get a little help though. They need a lot of help to come back against ABV. ABV knows how to come back, and they know how to hold the lead. 
but you know how it goes. Those, when you start getting down to leaning those last two or three points, they're the toughest to get. All right, Dennis hits. Ah, Utica, looks like Utica holds point right now. Green ball banged around, maybe not. Yeah, they still have the point. Utica does. It looks like it. Yeah, yeah. it's still green point. Yeah, still Utica's, Utica's point there, Utica's point. All right, here comes ABB looking for uh, his or their third shot. So Dama, oh, Mike Frabotta is going to roll in. Okay. Here's Mike Frabot. Ah, nice, another nice ball. These guys are pointing maniacs right now. Everybody's dialed in. Here comes the Mike and Mike action right here. Mikey points. Mike's going to hit this. ABB smelling blood. Gusto uh -oh. gets it. Uh -oh. Pauline rolls right over to the green. Great shot by Mike. That's a big shot, too. They yeah, need this. It, it is. I'm, I'm wondering why Mike Augusta held his arms out like he made a bad shot. I mean, <laughs> it worked it, out. It ended up well for them. Nice shot, Mike. All right. Uh, ABB is going to talk about this one a little bit. So this is one of those times that, you know, if, if you have this kind of lead, yeah, you can risk a little bit, but you don't want them to get any momentum going back the other way again. Right. So do you just roll in here? See if you can roll in. Do you hit it? And hope for a good ricochet. We'll see. It looks like he's going to hit. He's going to try and take that green. The green may take the other red out, but that's okay, too. What does it look know. like, Frank? Looks like ABV is holding for one right now. All right, ABV holding one point right now. That's I believe right. Utica has second point. So I think they're trying to figure out if they want to hit this, point it in. They need something here to get back on the board. Yeah. They got to get that uh... momentum back. They started this game out three to one, and it's been ABV ever since. Yeah, they got to get that score peg moving. I think maybe they, it's getting stuck there. All right, 12-3 ABV over Utica. Final game in the 36th Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce here in uh, Wycliffe, Ohio at the Wycliffe Italian American Club. Yeah, they're going to talk about this one for a minute. Because you get a bad ricochet here, yeah, you can knock out your own balls and Enterprise, uh, Enterprise, one of our sponsors, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, been our sponsor for with us for many years. And thank you, uh, book a car rental online with Enterprise today and get great rates, car rentals and much more. Oh, Ryan's rolling right here. Short. Oh. Oh yeah, he left that really short, didn't give that one a chance. Definitely frustrated on that throw. Yeah, he's a little frustrated with his pointing. So is that that's one ABB? One ABB bumps the lead to 13 to three. All right, ABB is up by 10 here in the late innings of this final match of the 36th Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce and a great ball by Dama wow. Benny. Woo! He's been putting him on the last couple frames. Tom Aveni, the quiet one, comes up with a beautiful point. Killer Tom. <laughs> and he's making Brandon work tonight with a lot of these shots. Yeah, he's going to have to ice his arm down when he's done with this game. Oh, he it's caught the Pauline. Pauline. Let's see what happens here. Okay, okay. Right. That worked out. I like that play. That would have been a heartbreaker if that Paulian ran back to the screen. Yeah. Oh, 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 my God. I think they just said, okay, we're out. Mic drop. Okay, so they're thinking, okay, well, they're about two feet. Do we roll in? Do we come off the back wall? Do we hit the ball? I think it's a little bit too far away 
Frank, how, away from, how far away from the uh, back wall is the, the Pauline? It looks like about four, four and a half feet. Yeah, so, so quite a ways off, but I've seen him pop this back before. I think they're looking to see if they can... Uh, I like pointing here, Bob. I, I do, too. I think it's too far from the back wall, and I think uh, these guys can just point it in. Well, I mean, look, they got Dom and they got Mike. Two good pointers. Or is Dom throwing already? Well, Do yes, Dom's already thrown his first yeah. point, so it would be Mikey for pointing, so but I guess it looks yeah. like they're going to uh, shoot here with Croach. Yeah, it looks like Croach is going to come off that back wall, or is he trying to go after the green ball? We'll see. Oh, that's it. Wow, it wow. did come off. Wow. Wow. <laughs> They got to take the magnet out of these red balls. <laughs> oh my God! Great shot by Croce. Nice shot, Croce. <sighs> oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! They got it right. Yeah, yeah that looks like it's in. That in, Frank? Heading over now to check it out. Wow. Courtside reporter Frank Gambetti is going to take a little walk over there and see if. Uh, oh, uh -oh. oh, okay. <laughs> ah, that's got to be Croach. There's nobody else would have a cigarette in their hand right now. The official measurement tooling, Abachi. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's uh, been conceded to ABV. Yeah. Brought to you by Marble Antennas. <laughs> we measure it and we smoke it. <laughs> and he lights it up. <laughs> The gangster, yeah. Oh my gosh. The gangster of bocce. <laughs> well, here's the good news. At least it wasn't something else he was measuring oh, with. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Croce, you killed me. <laughs> but uh, it worked, Bob. It worked, right? It they did figured work. it out. They That's, know. Uh, uh, it's ABV's points. They're trying to figure out now what uh, Utica's going to do here. We'll see. How long is a 100? Are they like three and a half inches? So I'm trying to determine how close the ball is. <laughs> or is that a regular? I'm not sure. Yeah, we're not sure. We're not sure what brand that is. We'll have to ask Croach after the game. Ain't going there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Short by tone. All right, so obviously, ABV was holding that point yet. Well, or no? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, ABV, yeah. It's still ABV's point. Ah, oh, uh, you got it. Can't be short. Ryan is not. Uh, Ryan and Ryan Riley of Utica's finest barbershop just having a really rough time these last few frames. Well, ABV's yeah. got two balls in the back. Currently, hold a point. 13 to 3. If they could get three here, they could win it. Yeah, up to 16. Need three more to close this out. Well, Utica has got a ball real close to it right now, so it's going to be really, It's going to be difficult to get really three here. Point, yeah. yeah. And Mikey's short too. They don't want to give it up. They don't want to yeah, sell it. Yeah, playing a little safe. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. No, nope, ABV has decided to just take the point and move on to the next frame. Oh, and ABV gave up uh, the, the yeah. last ball. Yep. We're just going to take one of them. Up, move to the so next frame. 14 to 3. ABV is now on a 13 to 0 run currently. Yeah, 14 to 3. Got to go up to 16. ABV is going to throw their point ball. Ah. There goes Dom again. It's been ABV all the all day in this game so far yeah he, he's uh he's been on I, he's only thrown a couple of short yeah. balls and that's been it but he's been dialed in pretty well all right so here comes brandon bertrand he's gonna have a little ligament damage after this game his throw count must be in all way over the hundreds yeah, he's hit a lot of balls and he's hit well he's hit well he's played a nice game great shot So he hit his target. Looks like uh, it's Green's point, Utica's point here. So we'll have Mikey for about a point in for the second ball. 
want to thank everyone for joining us on today's uh, broadcast of uh, the 36 Challenge Cup of Boxing. Yes, thank you everyone watching. <laughs> uh, appreciate the support. I, I need a little nudge for that word broadcast. <laughs> Some, sometimes, the, sometimes the brain dies out for a second. But thanks to my buddy Rich Liddy for filling me in there. <laughs> Mikey was long on his point. Let's see if Tony can uh, steal it. Uh, yeah, got a point, but got it. Okay. long also. Tony Melarano Jr. throws in the point. Anthony Croach, see if he can steal it back. And here it comes. He That's got the it. Point. Beautiful ball. That's a Butte Clark. All right, you call out right now, two balls in the back, I two wonder, to one. I wonder, because Anthony smoked his measuring tool. I wonder what he's going to measure with next time. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. Mike hits it. Probably went to the left corner there. He doesn't look too happy about this, though. Yeah, it does not look good for Utica. It does not look good for Utica. I mean, there has been many times where they've hit the ball and it's ended up not in their favor. This time it did. So Utica's holding point. One to one in the back now with Dennis and uh, Ryan. Dennis of ABV and uh, Ryan of uh, Utica's finest barbershop. Yeah, let's see. Is he going to hold that line? Looks like it. Oh, he got it. All right, we'll see if Ryan can match that. So is that it's still only one? Though. It's I'm only one. It's only one. Off the back wall, it's it coming comes. in. It's coming in. Did he get it? That's got it. Yeah, yes. Utica's ball yes. rolled in and Utica took point. It got the point. Four to got fourteen. The got the point back in their hands. Let's see if they can take this momentum down, Bob. Let's see what they can do. Well. Sometimes it's all you need. Get a little break. Feel a little better about yourself and yeah. get this momentum back. Let's see if they can regroup now and figure this out. That ball looked a little off to begin with, but got off the back wall and rolled right in. All right, this message brought to you by our sponsor, Liberty Home Mortgage. Liberty Home Mortgage operates with a focus on a very simple goal, to lead the industry in customer satisfaction and to set a new standard by which their indus industry operates. Liberty Home Mortgage. Call them today. And, and a message from Remarkable Lake County. Discover some of Ohio's most popular travel destinations only 20 miles east of Cleveland on the southern shores of Lake Erie. Experience breathtaking landscapes, beaches, outdoor escapes, and world-class wineries. Remarkable Lake County. We also want to thank uh, Liberty Home Mortgage for uh, running the stage this year. They uh, put a sponsor on it, uh, you know, so we want to thank them for that also. Yeah, I think Liberty Home Mortgage enjoyed being down here at our venue. And, uh, we're really impressed by what they, uh, what they saw and how many people were here. Thousands and thousands of people here this weekend. Once again, at uh, one of the best bocce tournaments this side of the Mississippi. It's a good ball there. All right. Well, is that Ryan Riley just threw that? Uh, I mean, no, I believe it's still Tony pointing first. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ryan's. Oh, no. Well, I think that was Ryan. No, that's his, that's his best point for a while. So he's getting dialed back in. I'm sure he's frustrated with himself a little bit, as we all would be. Good all hit right. by Dennis. Good hit by Dennis. Kind of hangs around about five, six feet away. You gotta remember, Bob, this weekend there was a hundred teams that came down here. And these are the final two teams going at it right now. Hundred open men's. Yes. And then what, fifteen women's? Fi yes, fifteen teams. women's teams also. And um Botelieri's uh lawn landscape. Lawn uh, care, yes. Lawn care. They, yeah, they, they won, won the, the women's division. Back to back champs in the women's division. And uh resting bocce face. Uh, came in second. So congratulations to both teams. And there's Croach with another good ah, hit, hit and Croach stick. Hit and stick. Yeah, Very Croach nice. with a big hit and stick. Huge, 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 huge hit, Frank. Yeah. All 
right, uh, Utica's going to talk about this for a second. I mean, you got to hope for another hit and stick, I would think. I think we That's might see a Pauline shot, shot, too. Possibly. Easy, we'd all be doing it. And God knows I can't. I think Bobby LaMonica can do that. Tough miss by An Mike. Unusual miss by uh, Mike Augusto of Utica. All right, still uh, 16 to. I'm sorry. We back. have 14-4, 14 14 Bob. 14 to 4. ABV contracting over Utica's finest barbershop. And this is the last game. This is Utica's last chance to uh, claim their uh, their spot in history here at the. Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce at the Wickle Fi and A. We definitely want to thank all the teams for coming out this year. We've had so many teams come from out of town. Yeah. Uh, PA, New York, Connecticut. It's a big commitment. Yeah, Time, Canada, money. also downtown. Town, people from Florida, Virginia, Mississippi, from all over, Michigan, Kentucky. You know, all the, all the members here who work tirelessly to keep these grounds clean, put this together. Every night, these guys are here until, you know, 2, 3, 4 in the morning, getting everything done. Oh, one of my favorite times of the year, Bob. Cleaning everything. Uh, Paul DeSico, director, puts in a lot of time getting this all together, making this happen. You know, Frank Gamatis and uh, Vince, Vince Cantonanza. Uh, yep. Oliver Marcon. Um, just, it's, it's, it's a lot of people coming together to make this happen. Ooh. Ooh. Utica's roll. Yeah, short. short by Brandon right. there. Well, I kind of lost track for a second. Who's, who's back? Well, they still have three balls back. No, two balls back, ABG. Just two, does. yes. All right, so 14 to 4, ABV over Utica. They have two balls back. And I think, I believe Utica's out of balls, if I'm not mistaken. That is correct. Utica's out of balls. ABV's got okay. two left. Yep. Okay. So looks like they're going for the win here. Thank you, Frank. And this could be it. Here it is. And that's it. And that is game point. Set. ABV is your ABV champ. ABV wins. Congratulations. 16 ABV to 4. Contracting once again. That's for, uh, winning the 36th Cleveland Challenge Cup of Bocce here at uh, the Wickliffe INA Club. It's a long grind, Luch. Oh, yes. And they uh, made it through, and they came through the loser's bracket. Yes. To get here. They lost to Utica Finest Barbershop before, lost to them, and came out of the loser's bracket. And uh, it's kind of incredible. They came back and beat these guys twice with a final score of 16-4. That is ABV's third championship now, with the other two coming in 2014 and 2015. It's uh, It's been... Uh, an awesome run for them these past couple years. Yeah, it has. And we want to thank, once again, Pat O'Brien, a great sponsor of the Wycliffe Italian American Club. Um, you know, they got them. Go get them. Open the door to a new Chevy. Pat O'Brien, thank you very much for all that you do for the club. Thank you.